everyone, it's Samia, and today I'm going to talk about some of the ways you can be involved around UBC. For starters, there is the Engineering Undergraduate Society, the EUS. The EUS plays a very big role in making the engineering community so tight-knit and close together which is why I thought I'd ask my friend Quentin, who's been a part of the EUS since his first year, to tell us a little bit more about it. So uh, my name is Quentin, I'm a second year computer engineering student. Uh, I am currently the uh, video director for the EUS, and I will soon be the uh, VP academic for the society. What is the EUS exactly? It's a society that represents all the 4,500 students, engineering students here at uh, UBC. Uh, they, do, they have services, tutoring services, they take care of your academic needs, they host parties, they host uh, events like e-week, caroling, and weeky not. Uh, so uh, I strongly encourage everybody to uh, go and uh, try to volunteer for a society because it's a great experience for uh, your university time. For me, my biggest involvement over the last year was being a vlogger for Inchside. The goal of Inchside is to promote the engineering field to young women and increase the engineering enrollment for women to 50% by the end of 2020. Inchside hosts a lot of outreach programs, camps and explorations to encourage young girls so there's a lot of opportunities to volunteer and just fight for a great cause. Other than that, you could be part of one of the many engineering design teams. The engineering design teams work on a wide range of projects, such as Thunderbots make soccer playing robots and the Formula UVC makes race cars. Besides that, there are hundreds of clubs to choose from, with different voluntary activities, reading week placements, the student leadership conference, the opportunities are endless. So I decided to go around and ask some of my first year engineering friends what they've been up to over the last year. Well, hi, I'm Anha and I'm a first year um, engineering student here at UBC. And I've been part of the Steel Bridge design team here and it was a really good experience. Um, so I think the main thing I took away from it was learning a lot of new skills, whether it be with software or interacting with people. Yeah, so I learned a lot. Of, yeah, it was a great experience and I encourage everyone to go for it as well. So in September, I auditioned for the UBC Acapella Group and it's a place where I can express myself through music and singing and singing is one of my biggest passions. And it's a really inclusive place where we all are one big family. So we both took part in a two-week orientation program called Jumpstart that takes place two weeks before school starts. We met a lot of new people and we had a lot of amazing experiences. This program also motivated me to get more involved in the community and I even became a Jumpstart orientation leader for the next year. Clearly, there's a lot you can do here besides just studying. So it's important to know your limit, know how much you can be involved in such that it doesn't overwhelm you and you can still do good in your academics because as cliche as it might sound, it is most important and you need to make sure that you're on track before you explore all the different opportunities. I hope you enjoyed my video and see you next time. Bye!